Bailey Wilson serves. Hodel, Harbaugh up to Smith. Ertz gets there for the Knights. Seek back over to Forsyth. And Glidell is there for the Cohawks. Harbaugh to Dalkey. <coughs> Forsyth gets there. Seek now to Wilson in the middle. Glidell. And now Harbaugh for the Cohawks. Smith out of bounds. Another attacking error on Brianna Smith. And the Knights go up 16 11. Well, that's the second time she's missed on that far sideline over there. Uh, from her view, the left side, a number of errors. And now Warbrick back on top again by that five point comfortable lead. Wilson serves. Wittenberg dives to get to it. Harbaugh, it's a Langle tipped in down for the kill. Caitlin Langle got the lead at 16-12. That one, one of those more solid hits. Again, desperation time for the Cohawks. We mentioned that the loser of this team would have to get in by way of the selection committee. And you got to wonder if uh, Co gets swept here tonight. They've been up there in the rankings for part of a bit of the season. Maybe not looking too favorable to that committee. O'Connell serves. Shinstein gets to it. Seek. Up for Forsyth, and it's down for the kill. The Knights go up 17 to 12. But if the Knights have anything to do with it, they're not really concerned if they win in three straight sets or five sets tonight. They just want to get away with the victory here. Forsyth doing her part. So much momentum swinging toward the black and orange now as they continue on. Busher serves. O'Connell is there. And now uh, Langle spikes it. Seek the dig. Shinstein. And Seek punches it over. Wittenberg, Harbaugh to Meyer, blocked. Langle gets a hand on it. Neiman spikes it, and O'Connell gets there. Diving dig from Meyer. Cohawks can't keep it alive. It's 18-12, Wartburg. Well, great effort there by uh, Wittenberg going for it, falling over in the bench. She seems to be okay. But the effort has been there by Co. It's just Wartburg has been finding their spots well. No chance for a Cohawk return, not even a question mark on that play. And uh, Wartburg cashing in on a lot of those big opportunities again. Now their largest lead at six. Annie Busher will serve. The Knights lead 18-12. Too far to service air. Coox within 18-13. That's another gift from this Warburg team to the side of Coe. They have a, had a couple of string of plays in this, but again, now down by five. They need a little bit more than that to get back into this set. Langle serving for Coe. Busher there. Seek. Up, and Creary has it blocked. Shinstein. As the Knights keep it alive, Seek pushes it back over. Harbaugh for the Cohawks, up to Osterberger, and Ertz is there. Seek to Neiman in the middle. And Glidell gets, or Wittenberg gets there. Osterberger, now Harbaugh tosses it over. Busher to Seek to Neiman, down for the kill. Knights up 19-13. Great play there by Neiman, able to capitalize again on one of those opportunities. Creary heading out of the game. I'm not so sure if she uh, uh, wasn't called there for a double hit a moment ago on one of her returns. But nonetheless, the Knights will take advantage of it now. Back on top by six. They can smell the regionals at this point. Jamie Farley serving. Six points away from the NCAA tournament. O'Connell, Harbaugh, over to Osterberger. Ertz is there, Neiman gets a hand on it, and Ertz tosses it over. Langle, now Harbaugh, Dalkey in the middle, Shinstein the dig. Seek chases it down, and Ertz is, cannot spike it over. Just completely missed that one, and it's 19-14. Some of those are so tough. Usually when you're on that uh, return, after some of your miscommunications, you're flat-footed. Ertz on the move, and that enables her to just kind of get off guard a little bit. Uh, not no, so much focus and concentration on that ball, and just mistimes it. Big Kohawk point. Now some questioning at the scores table. Want to mention Wartburg and Morris tied at zero at halftime in the Iowa Conference. Men's Soccer Tournament Championship right here. In the Volleyball Tournament Championship, the Knights lead the match 2-0, set 3-19-14. Jockey serves, Busher, Seek, spikes it, and now Harbaugh over to Osterberger. It's blocked and down for the point. Knights lead 20-14. Well, Osterberger calling that that's her mistake. Good leadership again by both sides, but it's that time for the Cohawks. They can't make those mistakes. You've got to come through and go up and know that the uh, Wartburg offense is going to go right at you at the net. Neiman serves. Langle, Harbaugh spikes it and down. Cohawks get within 2015. Right between Farley and Neiman there, both of them just frozen in their tracks. Talking about Co needing some big hits. That was one that froze those two defenders in their tracks. And the Cohawks back within five. They need a big string of points to try to take set three. Fladell. Serves, Busher gets to it, overpass, but Wilson keeps it alive for the Knights. Ertz back over to Busher, spikes it, and Langle's there for the Cohawks. Harbaugh spikes it, blocked by Wilson. Langle keeps it alive. Harbaugh to Weisinger. 
Wittenberg again after the Knights blocked it. Wittenberg hits it over, tips off the net. Wilson, Seek spikes it down. Kill for Ramey Seek, but there's a whistle. And the point's going to go to the Cohawks on a, on a double hit. Wow, tough way to end that point. Good blocks there, but the Cohawks come away with a big one. Time out, Knights. They lead 20 to 16 in set three. Continuing to move the ball very well. Take my hand and start a brand new day. And together as one will start to see some change. Underneath everything we are, underneath everything we do, we are all people connected, interdependent, united. And when we reach out a hand to one, we can influence the condition of all. That's what it means to live united. Arena timeout Wartburg after they go up 20 to 16. The Cohawks just trying to stick around and force a fourth set as the Knights lead the match two to nothing, five points away from the NCAA tournament. This is where you expect to see Warburg's experience pay off. Especially uh, coming in, they've had some difficulties closing out some sets in the season. Set two was no trouble for the Knights, and now a four-point lead with their home crowd at their backs. Well, what an opportune time for them to pull through. Waddell serves into the net, service error. I think that's number 11 for the Cohawks. It's 21-16 Knights. That has been just the story of the night for the Cohawks. A tough way for them to give up free points for the Knights, but they're going to take whatever they can get. Now four points away from that tournament berth. Carly Baum will serve. Knights up 21-16. They lead the match 2-0. Baum serve is up. And it's too far. Service error back-to-back -back here from both teams. It's 21-17 Knights. Good awareness there by Gladell coming off of the air and mistake she made a moment ago, able to control her emotions and call that one out of bounds. Mackenzie Harbaugh serves. Bound gets there for the Knights. Seek setting it up for Wilson. Wittenberg with the dig. Harbaugh is going to get it back over to Smith. And Will, uh, Kabound is there. Now Wilson has a block. Seek is going to set it up for Forsyth. Tipped away in the kill for Forsyth. 22-17 Wartburg. She just hits the ball with such command. So hard that any uh, chance at a return for the Cohawks goes long. And the two defenders in the backcourt there are just unable to get to it. Ramey Seek will serve. Knights up 22-17. Wittenberg the return. Harbaugh sets it up for Leisinger. Bound the dig. Creary turns around but can't hit it over. It's 22-18. Seek was coming around her left side. Maybe thinking about a trick play there. Not sure if uh, Seek told her to go for and go ahead. Creary catching the defense off guard but just unable to get it over the net. And Wittenberg serves. Forsyth slides to get there. Seek setting it up for Forsyth. Wittenberg the dig. Harbaugh tosses it up. Langle moves around her to get there. Seek the diving dig. Wilson setting it up for Forsyth. Blocked by Aaron Dahlke. It's 25-19 or 22-19. Huge play defensively there for Cole. Their fans now back in it as well. Students on their side standing up as well as the Knights fans. This one coming down to the wire again now in set three. Wittenberg will serve for the Cohawks. 22-19, Wartburg. Forsyth gets to it. Seek sets it up for Forsyth. It's blocked, but the Cohawks can't handle it. Three points away now. They're two points, excuse me. 23-19. And it's big now. They're on serve, so they control where the ball can go. They're limiting those errors. The Cohawks have been unable to do so. Wilson now stepping to the line, the veteran for Wartburg. Bailey Wilson serves. Bledel just gets it. Wittenberg over to Dahlke, hits it over, tipped. Forsyth the diving dig. Neiman up to Graves. Wittenberg is there. Harbaugh setting it up for Smith. Tipped and out of bounds. The kill for Smith, 23-20. Nice job of Crystal Graves going up and being aggressive, but uh, very well done by the Cohawk offense again. They see that one-on-one -on -one block opportunity, and they know that uh, more times than not, it's going to work out in their favor. Off the mark, out of bounds. Ramey Seek couldn't get to it, and the Cohawks back within three points. O'Connell serves as it's desperation time for Co down 2-0 in the match. Bound returns it. Seek up for Neiman. Tipped. O'Connell reaches for it. Wittenberg over to Langold. Out of bounds. Match point for the Knights. It's 24-20. Wow, some of the Cohawk bench not happy with that call. From our view, look to be out of bounds. Again, another missed opportunity for Cole. Warford on serve now to try and go into the regional tournament. 
Maddie Forsyth will serve. She hasn't been serving a lot lately, but they're sticking her in here at match point. Throws it up, serves it. Returned by O'Connell. Harbaugh to Langle. Seek the dig. Shinstein tosses it up. Seek will go for the spike. And O'Connell is there. Harbaugh up for Langle. Out of bounds. Nice win. Oh, oh, oh. Warburg is going to the NCAA tournament. They are Iowa Conference regular season and tournament champions for the second year in a row. Great to see in front of their home crowds. Again, these seniors will go out on a winning note here at Levitt Carina in their final home game of their careers. Couldn't have ended on a better note for the Black and Orange Co. doing all they can, but the story of their night, just too many unforced errors, results in a big Warburg 3-0 victory. Warburg sweeps Co. in the Iowa Conference Volleyball Tournament Championship. We'll be back to recap it all here in a bit from Levick Arena on Night Vision. Checking your fantasy league? Nah, just my 401k statement. Hmm, nice, where'd you find the money for that? I just been saving a little every month. <laughs> I can't seem to save anything. Well, what about all this? What about the money you're spending? <laughs> what money? It's gone before I can get my hands on it. I got a pizza for a uh, Todd. Hey, can somebody spot me? When it comes to financial stability, don't get left behind. It's 547. Get tools and tips for saving at feedthepig.org. So, I got this new family. And I don't know what it is about this one, but she can't seem to put down that toy all day long. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, and she even talks to it. She talks to that more than she talks to him. What's up, bro? Nice shirt. Who's she talking to? Her mom? She talks to her mom a lot. Welcome back to Levick Arena. The Knights celebrating in front of Co on their home court for the second straight week. They win the Iowa Conference Tournament Championship, sweeping the Cohawks 28-26, 25-18, 25-20. And as you've already mentioned, Matt, the story of the game errors, and especially in the serving game, Cohawks with over 11 service errors. The Knights had about eight service aces. Yeah, just you know, a complete flip-flop on both sides. The Knights serving the ball very well. Cohawks just unable to get a lot of things going momentum wise. The Knights had a lot of streaks as well of points. You can see the seniors celebrating. They had a big factor in that tonight, that experience level coming and shining full force before the game, talking about some of the inexperienced and younger players for Co. Uh, they've had a lot of experience this season, but not really in a high pressure situation such as this. And uh, the Knights capitalize on it. The Knights improved to 26 and 11 on the season. Co falling to 33 and 5. And what a way for the this group of seniors to go to go out and you know the Knights they get this win they get they get into the NCAA tournament they're not going to leave it in the hands of the selection committee yeah definitely I mean that was a huge thing for them and going against uh, that Luther team on Thursday night if you would have asked anybody here in Levick Arena after set three when the Knights were down two to one if they'd be going to uh, receiving the automatic bid to go to regionals uh, a lot of people would have said there's no chance Knights somehow come through in that game finish off the Norse and then come here in straight sets no less against Coe just in dominating fashion after Coe comes off of a huge win over Loris on Thursday night in 3-0 as well and the Knights showing why they deserve to be at the top of the conference unquestioned now after a big win here tonight. This is a fantastic conference tournament it was a very exciting game the Knights sweep Coe after winning in five cents against Luther they get into the NCAA tournament, and they're going to try to prove a point there as well. They lost in the first round to UW Eau Claire last year when they were kind of the favorites. This year they might go in as a little bit of the underdogs, only a couple of wins against ranked teams, and they'll be trying to prove something up at the regionals. Yeah, they had a lot better record going into the tournament as well last season, uh, but a lot of good teams overall in the tournament, like we mentioned, especially from that Minnesota conference. Knights definitely going to be an underdog, but after playing like they did the way the night, if they can carry that over into regionals, no question that they can perform and have a lot of success there. We want to thank everyone for tuning in tonight and for tuning in all season long to Warburg Fall Sports, Football, and Volleyball on Night Vision, our last broadcast of the fall. But we'll be back in the winter with Knights basketball and wrestling. For my broadcast partner, Matt Groomer, I'm Nathan Ford saying thank you for watching. Signing off from Levick Arena as the Knights sweep co for the Iowa Conference Tournament Championship on Night Vision.